When doing the clove oil extraction, it is beneficial to students to demonstrate the polar and non-polar natures of water and cyclohexane. All we need is a burette full of water. and a burette full of cyclohexane. Here I'm using a biro. I'm going to create some static electricity on the biro by rubbing in the lab coat or some other polyester product. And then when I open the tap on the burette, I can see how when I hold the biro close to the stream of water, it bends the stream of water due to the polar nature of water. Then I will now charge it again. And if we try the same with our cyclohexane, you will notice there's no change in the stream of cyclohexane because cyclohexane is a non-polar solvent, so static electricity has no effect on it.